Okay, let me try this again. I've had several false starts. There's so many different little ingredients in this. Oops, I left that on the counter. Oops, that's over there. So let's get going. This is another church lady recipe. This is my mother-in-law Marge's lemon fiesta party cake. And I'm going to make it in a bunt pan that I will spray with Pam that has flour in it. That I'm making it because we're going to a potluck tonight and that'll hold me down to one piece probably. Probably. <laughs> this is what you need. One cup plus two tablespoons butter, one and one half cup sugar, it's right there, three eggs, these are my friend Susie's eggs, sometimes they're a little blue, but we're going to use three of her eggs, the rind of one lemon, it's right there, two and one half cup sifted flour, one half teaspoon salt, one half teaspoon soda, and one teaspoon baking powder, that's all in there mixed together. 1 cup buttermilk, 3 quarter teaspoon lemon extract, that's right there, and it calls for uh, white raisins. I just never put them in because I never have them on hand. This is for the glaze on top, which we put on while it's still hot. 1 third cup sugar, 1 and 1 half teaspoons water, 1 third cup butter, and the juice of 1 half lemon. Now that's way too much juice, so I'll just kind of eyeball it. I, I, that's actually juice probably of one and a half lemons. I kind of got carried away. As you can see, I sprayed my bunt pan with pan that has flour in it. So that's ready to be filled. And I put my stove on 325. Now sifted flour. I used to have one of those sifters, you know, but my hands, I got too much arthritis now. So I use something like this. And to sift it makes, makes it lighter. The cake will be airier. That's all there is to it. I've got another thing you can use. You can use something like this. You can get something like this. See how much lighter that flour looks? So I don't have buttermilk on hand like ever. My mother-in-law is from Kentucky and I think she drank it quite regularly. So what I use for buttermilk is I buy this. Makes a good buttermilk. It's always tasted good. Four tablespoons to one cup of water. For the grated lemon, I have a box grater that I use forever. I use it all the time. I'm surprised it's lasted this long. And you just do that and you end up with your lemon. Very easy, just ch -ch -ch. You may have some other fancy thing, but this, look at this thing. I could advertise for these babies. I love them. Get a box cutter if you don't have one. I've already put my butter and my sugar in my mixer bowl and I was getting this together and I thought I need people I don't know where you get them but I need people this was fine but the side of the mixer was dirty you can't clean enough in a kitchen I swear so I'm gonna mix this until it's light and fluffy it doesn't take very long but I like to test it make sure it's all mixed in yeah, I'm going to do a little more. Now I'm going to add my eggs. There's three eggs, one at a time. One. I'm going to cream it a little bit. And I'm going to add the next one. Now after you add each egg, you're going to want to beat it till it's light and fluffy again. My last egg. This is where I want it. It's nice and light and fluffy. So after you add each egg, be sure to beat it so it's light and fluffy. Find the flour, salt, baking powder, and soda. And then I'm going to put this into here alternately with the buttermilk. So first some flour, then some buttermilk, then some flour, then some buttermilk, and last but not least, the lemon extract. So let's do this. Now let that mix in. You might have to stir the sides. Now I'll add some buttermilk. I guess I'm doing this about a third at a time. 
Not too much or it'll fly over the edge. There we go. More flour. I think you're getting the idea here. This is really nice. It's a nice light airy batter. Last thing I'm going to do is add the lemon extract and boy does it smell lemony. It smells so good. So let me add that. This is all set for the pan. Now you are going to bake this at 325 degrees for 50 to 55 minutes. Then you're going to set it out for 5 minutes and then you're going to invert it onto a rack. And at that point you will be making your uh, glaze or you're going to poke holes in it and it's, going to in, it's just going to go all the way into that cake. It's just delicious. Let me finish this. This is ready for the oven. 325 degrees, 50 to 55 minutes. As you can see the cake is done. Oh it smells good. Now I leave it in the pan on the rack for five minutes. In that five minutes I'm going to make the topping for it. But let's let this sit for right now. I'm going to go over to the stove and make the topping. Now this is not going to be like a frosting. It's going to be more like a glaze. What I'm going to do is poke some holes in the cake and then pour the glaze over the top. It'll soak in and go down the sides. I melted my one third cup butter. I'm adding the sugar. I added the sugar, that's one third cup sugar, and one and a half tablespoons water. I'm going to heat this up until the uh, everything melts and joins together. I'm going to let it go a little longer so that the sugar incorporates better, melts in there. Then I'll add the lemon juice and I will invert the cake, poke holes, and it will be so delicious. Okay, I'm going to add some of the lemon juice. I want to be careful here because I had way too much lemon. Juice of one half lemon and you're good. There. Now that's all set to go on the cake, which is not quite done sitting for five minutes. Doesn't that look good? I wish again that we had smell-o-vision. So this is what I'm going to do. This is piping hot. You're going to take a fork. You could use a fork and poke holes in this because when you pour that glaze over, you want it to go into the cake. Here we go. And put it on something or you can have this all over the counter. Pour it slowly. There. I wasn't going to take a dessert to the potluck, but I decided I wanted to make this. I had a hankering for it, so they're going to get stuck with it. They say, why did you make something? I'll say, well, I had to do a YouTube video. There we go. Voila. Oh, boy. That is so good. Let me set a minute, and I'll get you a slice on a plate. Oh, this is so good. I hope you can see how beautiful the inside of that cake is. Just a gorgeous cake. I cut a couple pieces for you. Well, I shouldn't really say that. That's teasing. It's a beautiful cake. And that lemon that I poured on, that lemon juice, that will make a nice crispy glaze on this. Lemon Fiesta Party Cake. Give it a try. Even your chocolate lovers will love it. Until next time, bye-bye.